job uh, asthma, bronchial asthma, what I did was honey and cinnamon. And that's the thing that I give my children as well. If they're having fever or they have some form of viral infection, honey and cinnamon, if they are more than two years old. Asthma, yeah. For bronchial asthma, the one that can really help you is honey and cinnamon yeah i know this because i have asthma myself and my children unfortunately i passed it to them uh whenever they would have an asthma attack i would just give them honey and cinnamon and then of course my ever favorite eucalyptus oil so when they're having an attack i would put a eucalyptus oil in their chest and in their back and they would be fine after that so for asthmatic patient honey and cinnamon is also good Ginger, it's also good. Um, Siling Labuyo, that's also good. Oregano and eucalyptus. For pneumonia, you can use honey, cinnamon, uh, oregano, um, eucalyptus. Marami po. Uh, pwede din po yan yung uh, lagundi. Yan. Maganda din po yan sa inyo. Uh, tuberculosis. Because a person was asking, uh, I, you know, that was, they were suggested to take the six-month uh, dosage of medication mm. from the doctor. Well, I'm not telling you to stop it, <laughs> nope. but it has many side effects. Uh, the side effect can be uh, damage to the liver, uh, optic neuritis, so you can have problems there. Uh, but uh, you can do because there are research that says that alagao is uh, very effective for tuberculosis, so you might want to try that. Okay? So. But I don't want to tell you to stop it. Tubig sa baga. Okay, bakit siya nagkaroon ng tubig sa baga? Meron ba siyang uh, PTD, cancer? Uh, so you have to identify first. So anyway, kapag may tubig ka sa baga, you have to eat foods that are rich in protein. So what I usually tell my patient is to eat a lot of eggs. Okay? So again, do not be discouraged about eggs. The higher the cholesterol, the longer you live regardless of where you are. And this is backed up by studies. I will not tell you this if I have not seen it in research. Okay? Spirulina. Spirulina is high in protein. So that's good for you. Two tablespoons, three times a day. So those would increase your protein. So if the higher your oncotic pressure, so the lesser na magkakaroon ka ng fluid, okay?